We are uh, 25 years married, and our eldest son is um, 21 years old, and the second one is 18 years old. We had a very big struggle with uh, David, my elder son. We had a little squabble. It was just about one or two years ago. And um, I did one of the worst things that a father can ever do. And that is, I asked him to leave the house, you know. And in that uh, anger and heat of the argument, he left uh, the house in a huff and uh, that night was one of the worst nights of my life. I was looking down from my flat at the void deck to see whether he was sitting there but there was no sign of him. And the next morning when I got up he was still missing. So he had spent the whole night away from home. And then all these uh, weird thoughts started coming into my mind that maybe he's done something drastic to his life or he's somewhere uh, in the wrong company and all that. Well, in the late morning, um, he did come home and then we had a chat, we had an, a dialogue at the table and I asked him, David, why do you do this to us, you know? And he says, you always wanted me to be someone that I don't want to be. You know, but you, you never loved me as I am. You know, and when he said that, I sort of heard him for the first time. Yeah, and I saw his world, his reality world. And uh, instead of saying anything, I got up and I went to him and I embraced him. You know? I hadn't embraced him for a long, long time, for years. And in that embrace, he sort of also put his arms around me and that embrace was more powerful than any words that both of us needed. After that, he shared that he didn't want to be David who was the son of Edwin and Karen. He wanted to be David who was a person on his own, you know, not known because of his parents. And uh, that was the big breakthrough for, for us as parents. We understood that our son needed to find the Lord in his own way, in his own time, and in his own space. Today, he, has, he belongs to a community in the parish. He is very involved in St. Francis Xavier, he's still altar serving because he has a passion for it. Mm. And I'm seeing a very different David now. The David that I knew in his teens was a David who used to hide, hide from us. But today, he shares with us a lot of his life, you know. He goes out of his way and uh, wants to involve us in his life. And that's because of that big breakthrough we had at the table two years ago. Yeah. So now I, I realize that m more interested than I am as a father, the Lord is interested in touching my two sons. I look back at the 20 years that David has gone by. I could see that without the Lord's grace, I would have been his biggest enemy. My son would have been my biggest enemy and I would have been his biggest enemy. But because the Lord sort of made those connections that I was breaking, you know, with my own son, somehow things worked. You know? I'm not saying that I'm his best friend, but he still knows that I'm there for him. So there are times when I open my mouth and I put my foot in it, and that's when he really detests me. But I know how to come back to him. I know that it's important to keep connected to him. I know I don't have it together, but it's exciting when I gain 
again their respect and their their connection i long for that connection from my two sons yeah and so that was what keeps uh, um parenthood really exciting to know that i don't have it together but yet the lord will help me to to sort out all those knots that i'm tying you know and uh, connect again with my two boys i hope to impart this one truth that i am there for them you know i may not understand their world completely but i am there for them i have not abandoned them as a parent